Well, let's move on to uh, the second game then on Monday. And it is a massive game for the Gujarat Lions who would still be uh, recovering from that enthralling super over finish against Mumbai. They ended up on the wrong side of that. They travelled to Pune and Pune themselves have strung a few results their way that put them in the top four as they enter this game. Uh, and this a win effectively could uh, increase their chances of getting there. And Gujarat Hoggy, on the other hand, fear that if they lose, they could very well get out. Let's go to match day match point number one and uh, see what uh, uh, Pune's overseas combinations look like. Has that been a key to their success in the last few games? And uh, have they finally got the right code? Now, admittedly, Hoggy, they are without Ben Stokes. We assume for maybe another game or whether he comes back. It's a bit uncertain from the camp, but he's still with the squad. They've gone with, uh, first they went with Dan Christian and Faf Duplessis. That didn't work. And then they've, uh, of course, gone for Lockie Ferguson. And that was, uh, uh, that worked very well. Man of the match performance against Bangalore the other night at Pune. So just looking at that, would you go with the same four, which is Steve Smith, Christian Ferguson and Imran Tahir? And then would Christian replace Ben Stokes when fit? How do you see Pune and have they managed to get uh, a balance or crack the code for their overseas player? Off you go in 45. I think they've cracked the code now because they've got the likes of Trapedi, Tawari and Dhoni even finding a bit of form. And then you've got Rahani up there. And Christian coming in down the bottom there, I think that's perfect because he's a power hitter. If there's only four overs left, he's the one that can do the damage and I think he can bat a little bit better than Stokes. I think his bowling's um, better than Stokes out the moment as well. He's got a better economy rate. They need Ferguson and Tahir in there. Ferguson, power bowler, quick, and he can uh, break through the top of opposition batsmen. And then you've got Tahir who comes in those middle order, um, into middle the middle orders. order in those middle overs with his spin variations, breaking through that middle order and uh, really putting the the opposition on the back foot. Mm. I just think that's the best balance. Wow, so are you telling me even if Ben Stokes is fit, as of now, you don't see a place for him in this? In this definitely event? not. Uh, definitely not. Not with the way that the Indian batsmen are batting. And uh, I just think uh, Christian finds the boundary a lot better than what Ben Stokes is. Mm. And his economy rate with the ball at the moment is a, a hell of a lot better than what Ben Stokes wow. is. Wow, well, that's uh, that's a lot of money which will be put <laughs> to use. But it's on form. That's the tough call a franchise needs to make, especially now as we enter the crunch phase of the league, uh, league part of the IPL.